I'm afraid that your your house is going to fall apart there, Recoil. Is it that bad? <laughs> you can definitely hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a margarita shaker. <laughs> God damn it. So I got to sit lay here and sweat my fucking balls off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to. I'm just letting you know when you're unmuted, everybody's going to hear it. <laughs> so, so they're going to be like, what is that noise? <laughs> And then we'll have to I tell mean, tell them that your vibrator is <laughs> on. <laughs> and I'm not um, talking about the radio stuff until we get back from the first break. So after 9.30, I'll talk about all that shit. Okay, I'm gonna... This is the first show since we've been shut down, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. People are still thinking that I'm getting messages in the back end of DV6. Why'd you ban me? No, I'm an asshole. Females, males. No. Um, I... The office sent out a mass email blast because they were getting hit with fucking bombardments of people going, why'd you ban me? Please remember the views and opinions expressed by this show or any other show on DV Radio and its guests are strictly those of said individuals and do not reflect those of the DV Radio staff nor the staff of dysfunctional veterans. Let's get it started in here. Get this party started on a Saturday night I'm on the highway to hell All night long Because I got friends in all places where Sit with a punk and music, white boy And I don't want to miss a thing On the line, yeah! All on and on the go on your mobile device this is Barrack Talk. It's DV Radio. Google broke the toilet. And I think I just broke my desk. <laughs> Tonight, Google is planning on taking over the world. <laughs> You can dip Brussels sprouts in chocolate to make them look like cake pops. $15 is a little steep for a bag of dicks. It should be like fourteen sure? ninety nine. I'm pretty easy to please. Not even one touch it as much as I want to. Are you sure? And we just <laughs> went there. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Because <laughs> this is how it is on TV radio. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you listen to the podcast there, young man. You're tuned in to WDVR on DVRadio.net. Or by searching DV Radio on your TuneIn app on your favorite mobile device. Because this is how it is on DV Radio. That is how it is right here on DVRadio.net. WDVR, it's Barracks Talk live right here. June 15th, 2019, on Bonerwood. We've got DV6, Oink, Google, and Recoil is in there in the mix somewhere. We have a lot of fucking shit to get out to you all regarding every goddamn thing from this week. But you know what? I'll let DV6 take over from here because he's got 22 minutes to get in whatever the fuck he's got to get in. Thanks, Bo. Yeah, we do have a lot of stuff. All right, listen up. On June 12th, approximately... One between somewhere between one and two p.m. I might be off by about thirty minutes. Facebook and publish the main dysfunctional veterans page. I will I should read you. They said we violated their guidelines, uh, and if we want to appeal, we can. We did file the appeal later, like two hours later, and uh, we have not yet heard back from them. First and foremost, I would like to thank each and every one of you out there listening and all our supporters who aren't here right now, but uh, showed their support. Uh, it's been amazing. Um, eye opening. Shockingly feels good. Um, so it, it, we've been talking this, this podcast barracks talk here and everybody on it. We've been warning about censorship and, how it's going on in YouTube with uh, demonetization. Uh, you'll hear more about Twitter uh, and on Facebook, how you can't even share 
certain content from websites or you will be banned for associating with them. Um, this is a pattern that all social media platforms are following now. Uh, they've learned their lesson from the 2016 elections. They're not going to make that mistake again. Uh, you know, so they're going, they're targeting certain big, huge pages. Anybody that can do, uh, that has momentum or influence, uh, a powerful voice and they don't go along with the, um, their narrative. That's basically all it's about. Um, you know, and okay, let's address the argument. Well, it's a blood platform, you know, if you don't like it, you know, you got this, their rules. Now, bake that cake, motherfucker. Listen, do you, t the, the phone company's a private company. I don't, they don't like what you're talking about right now. And they drop you. You're not going to want somebody to tell you, well, you know, there's other phone companies out there, guy. All right. All right. This whole thing with the with the internet and uh, these uh, social media platforms from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the ones that are popping up, they're protected under a certain uh, 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 what do you call that thing? A certain law that protects them. Well, that 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 should be yanked immediately because they're acting as a publisher and all that. So um, it's supposed to be a free and open forum. Uh, this is the dangers of censorship. Now. With that being said, I'm not going to ju jump into that because there is a lot to cover. The veteran humor page has been the DV backup page. A lot of people didn't know that. Um, few of you, I would imagine, could figure it out because uh, a lot of the content was back and forth with Sharon between the two pages. I started that page three years ago as an insurance policy. Um, and now it's being used. And the Veteran Humor page has filed a request to change the name. And we're going to uh, go with Dysfunctional Veterans 2.0. I should get an answer tomorrow. I do not anticipate any problems. If they deny it, and I've never seen, you know, anybody get denied. But if that happens to us, then, you know, it's it's the, we're on the radar. But that's okay, because in response to all this, crap going on with the censorship dv has decided to send 1776 bags of dicks to facebook headquarters with a letter saying that uh we can take a joke can you it's a joke not a dick but then it is it's candy dicks so we got a big giant box that's going to hold 200 pounds you can go look at the videos posted on veteran humor and in the closed group of the box now it's on veteran humor uh, of this big giant box with all the penises in it. Uh, the letter's going to say things like, uh, you know, uh, we, we love our Second Amendment right. We love our First Amendment right. Uh, we're not a hate organization. Well, you know, we hate everybody. Our sense of humor is different than yours. What you think is hate is just us being sarcastic. Now, I've even offered to help them understand and learn. Like, we, I volunteered my time as a mentor to, re-educate some of those youngsters they got in their guideline department you know um so we got that going on i will tell you this between Bo, me my wife and all the members of the dv team to the homeless vets here at the dv farm my employees at the warehouse um losing that page you know there a lot of people are afraid are they going to be able to feed their families the homeless vets were wondering uh is this the end of DV? Is this the end of DV Farm? And I too was, um, um, so is it the end of DV Farm? Um, after the last 24 hours and, and up to this point, I am confident that we're not going anywhere. Uh, the love and the support, the donations, the people buying stuff at the DV store to help keep the lights on, um, Time will tell. I'm pretty confident, you know, the farm is, is going to be a tough one because we use that DV farm, uh, that big Facebook page to, you know, push events. But with Chappie doing his events this year, um, we're pushing to get federal, uh, dollars, grant money and stuff like that. I think we'll be fine. It's the question is, can we sustain sales at the DV store to support everything we got going on so mydvstore.com use the promo code we got zucked not fucked 
I can say it here. We got zucked and you get 25% off. Also click on the top banner and, uh, pledge a bag of dicks to send to Zuckerberg. You, like somebody said, you'd want to be a part of this. Um, and everything we've been featured in some news stories. Um, Fox News, the Fox News producers did call me. We talked for about what did you say, Bo? About half an hour, maybe more. Yeah, give or take forty-five minutes, maybe. Yeah, she liked it, and she liked it. She liked. She actually made the comment, "This is good." And plus, you can talk. I'm like, oh my god. Um, big league. Uh, Big League Politics was the first one to do an interview. Uh, and he's their actual news agency has been listed as porn on Pinterest and they're being censored. I went to go, I went to go look to look them up on Google and you practically have to type the whole thing out. And even when you do their search address, their, their web address, they're not even first when you type the whole thing out. There's the warning that comes up about them being listed as some hate group. Also, Breitbart broke what? Who was that? Uh, Big League Politics. Uh, Mark, Google can tell you more about that. I, I, he was on Tucker the night before he talked to me, or gotcha. the same day he talked to me, because they're getting everybody's getting hit with this censorship. Uh, Breitbart broke the story um, about a Facebook insider disclosing how they've been tracking everybody and giving them. Hate, hate agent scores. Like they're watching what you do in your off time. Uh, they're scanning your photos. Um, if there's anything what they classify as a hate symbol in the background, say somebody's doing the okay sign, the punch sign, or there's a Confederate flag, you get a, you get a negative number. And it's like, what the hell? And if you, if your number gets too high, they delete your account and, and you're, you're blacklisted. If you, uh, search certain websites and stuff that they have listed as a, uh, agent of hate, so to speak. It, it's this is insane. There, there's no right or reason for them to be doing this shit, other than to. What's the end game? What's the end game? Other news: the DV Close Group uh, was at a couple thousand before we got shut down. It has swelled to almost seventeen thousand. And I need to be clear on this: the Close Group was around before the page got shut down. And the sole intention of the closed group was for it strictly for vets or active duty. Um, since the page got shut down and I've been going through thousands of, of requests to join, they have to answer a few questions. Some of the, there's a lot of mothers that followed that. The DV page was so much more than just for the vets. There were so many mothers of, Fallen soldiers, Marines, airmen, whatever, that were following that page that were saying it, it, it was a way for them to stay connected to their lost loved one that died or KIA in Afghanistan or Iraq. That was powerful. A um, lot of family members. And then, of course, your typical range of people that were admitted they were just there to steal memes. So... Just know this. We appreciate your support. I actually changed the one of the questions to make a statement. And it says, well, we appreciate the huge outpouring of support. The closed group is still strictly for the vets. Uh, the vet humor page, which is the DV page, is open to all our supporters and fans, regardless of whether you serve or not. Um, and, and we do. We, we appreciate it. You know, so. But now I want to do is. Like, I haven't talked to you guys, um, Bo, Recoil. Uh, I've talked to Google some, but what, what's your take? Oh, uh, and one other point that I'll throw out there before we discuss, yeah, I'll talk about this is I'm amazed at, we've never done fire missions. We don't do fire missions. We know people out there don't like us. I can expect that from civilians and all that. I, and, and vets too. Vets can hate on us. Sure. You hate the shirts, whatever. But if you're out there hating on us because of the lies, you know, a lot of this stuff you can just easily disprove whatever somebody's telling you by doing a simple Google search. But I cannot believe some of the vet pages out there, and granted, they're not as big as us, but they're out there celebrating that DV got shut down. They got censored. And I'm just sitting here going, 
Really? What makes you think you're not next? You know, you're a vet. This ain't about what well, us breaking the rules. And when Uncle Sam's got shut down, Liberty memes. I, uh, I like their memes. I'm sort of like the DV fan that follows but didn't serve. I follow Liberty memes because they got some kick-ass memes over there. But I don't agree with everything they say. Most of it, eh. You know, they're libertarians. Great. You know, they believe in something. But Facebook censors them all the time. They've started like five times. And every time they get censored and they come back, I share it to the DVD page and help them, you know, give them a shot in the arm. My point is, whether 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 you like us or not, whether you like somebody else or not, nobody should be getting censored. Especially being a, a corporation deciding. Zuckerberg decides what you can and can't see. I'll decide what I can and can't see. I'll decide what the truth is. Not, this isn't, we're, we're, we're looking a lot like Soviet Russia back in the days, the USSR. Am I right or wrong? Yep. And that I, is I, all. I, I think we should let Recoil go first before everybody else call, chimes in. I, I agree with you. I mean, I, what else can you really say? Nope. Yep. I mean, I, I have some stuff to add, but a, a lot of it pertains to the radio, but he, he mentioned Twitter, and... Tell, I, him, I've what's been, going, tell him what's yeah, going on. I, I, I was getting ready to go there. Uh, you all know I've been talking about Betsy Ross. Uh, she's the author of the Fight series. Um, she's got Fight and Fight 2 out right now, and she's working on Fight 3. But um, the other day, someone tweeted out to her, Is that your real name? I replied, her name is Ass Badass. Most people take that as a fucking compliment, as she did and all of her Twitter followers did. However, Twitter decided that that was an offensive tweet and blocked it from anybody seeing it, including herself, as well as the one replying back to her saying, I couldn't resist. So, I find that out. Then, me and Six are in Zoom the other day, and for, oh, I don't know, eight hours... A, twi- uh, a tweet that I had tweeted out about D. Snyder and Twisted Sisters, we're not going to take it, playing in the background while he and I were talking about all this shit, was not at all tweeted out for eight hours. However, Twitter kept telling me that it had been. So they're the literally, band. yeah, they're actually sitting there censoring us on Twitter. Um, yeah, there are some tweets that I'll fuck up and I'll delete. And then I'll retweet them, and you can tell which ones those are. But there are these right here that I've not touched at all. Didn't fuck them up, didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. And they're shadow banning us, as Six calls it. One of the other things that I failed to mention is, look, we don't call for threats of violence. We don't, uh, everything that we get banned for is labeled either that, hate, or something. But there are plenty of people out there with a bigger following than us on social media, whether it be Facebook or whatever, that are actively calling for violence. All right? And they're still up. Like I said, this isn't about us breaking rules. This is about we're not on the same side. This is a, a they're prepping, they, they're, they're sanitized in their site. You know, everybody think the same. So... so. <clears throat> Six, you mentioned, uh, big league politics. And there's other, there's other organizations that have been banned from Twitter, um, for the same reason. So Twitter has banned big league politics from being on Twitter for being in violation and putting porn out there. They're not. They're freaking putting news stories and shit out. Um, there's another organization, same thing. They're labeled as porn, so therefore they are no longer allowed on Twitter. They're pro-life. Their, their, their argument is that abortion shouldn't happen. And that's why they've been labeled as porn. I mean, it's. Yeah, they make up the rules. Um, you know, the points don't matter. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got this one lady out there. She's admitting on Twitter that por- that that abortions are the same as murder, and she's still on. It's not a big deal because she agrees that abortions are okay, even though she's flat out said an abortion having an abortion is like killing someone. 
Well, it's just like, like the oh. it's just like the columnist that finally got arrested within the last week or so. Um, he was defending pedophiles and molesters, saying if you don't understand their thought process and and what's going on in their mind, you, you need you need to stop bashing them and shit like that. Well, come to find out, this dude is a child molester because he straight up done it to an eleven year old. And I'm like, but he can stay on Twitter. That's cool. Like, like really? Right. Well, one of the one of the presidential candidates is comparing, is saying that if you're pro life, then you're a racist. Well, you and know, I'm like, 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 like everything is being compared to everything else. It's got nothing to do for me. Me being pro life has nothing to do with rapes. Nothing it's at all. It's not that it's. it's a, we're splitting hairs. The point is, you're on the wrong side of the fence, so you don't get a voice. I know, um, i got to hop that fence you, and well, be like Joe Biden. Okay. Well, that's the thing, too. Um, that's the thing, too, those six. Even if you are on the right side of the fence, you still are probably going to get censored in some way, shape, or form, just like transgenders oh, on eventually. YouTube. Oh, eventually. Yeah, it never stops. I mean, look, it, when we, when, what was it, several months ago, when everybody was celebrating, you know, even the people that are on the that that know that censorship is bad, but they're like, "Well, Alex Jones was bad, you know." I could that one all that's like, "Are you kidding me?" You let that one go and out of fight, and everybody's gonna start falling. And then it was Milo, louder, yeah. Crowder. Uh, there's a 14 year old kid who who has a YouTube channel I follow, uh, Chandler um, Crump. You got to check him out. They demonetize him. He's a young conservative, 14 years old. He is very articulate. He's been demonetized. If not, he'll be soon deleted from the platform. Um, the, it, it, this is all about well, we're that's in what... charge. We don't like your thinking. You're a hate agent. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, all of them's for, we'll you know, back. yeah, they're, they're all for. Be for the gays and be for the transgenders, and we have nothing against that. We have gay and transgender followers, and we love you all the same. But when it comes to places like YouTube and other other places, they're getting demonetized because they're using that as a status, just like the veteran thing. It's a right. status. What do you? Yeah. What about disabled folks? Are they next? Is that who you're going to go after next? Like they're probably seriously? lumped in there. Well, I mean, look at look at you can't um what what we say. You you know the written word, it's all in a tone and inflection and all that. But that, like I said, this is splitting hairs. You can pick whatever category. It's not about what rule you broke. It's not about what category. It's you're not one of them. You're not welcome here. It's not free speech. It's not an open platform. So you need to think like us. I mean, they're monitoring, they're like in that article, uh, in Breitbart for the one that was dropped from the insider on Facebook. They admit that they are turning on your phones and listening to your conversation for buzzwords and stuff like that. They're searching all the way back through your data history. Yeah. They're really? going up to two years back. Yeah. And if it's there's insane. anything in there and it, and, and the thing is, you don't know what you're, hate score is right. that's not being put out they're not getting they're not telling you what your hate score is well i'll tell you one goddamn thing if you look at my browser history it's all over the place <laughs> but i mean like because they won't tell you what your hate score is and what has been deemed as hate and what hasn't you don't even know how to change any of it not that not we that want, it. want to right but still i mean at least be honest about stuff don't be a fucking jackass and Lie. This is, isn't this like this is look we're getting too complacent i mean we're not there's no outrage it's like this is insane you would when the government if the government asked to put a, a microphone in your house you would say no right but yeah here's alexa <laughs> I, I mean no. it's just you know they're against certain things we believe in these are rights assured to us by the document the constitution and it's under attack every day. Yep. Uh, you know, I've been saying it before the page got unpublished and stuff like that. This isn't just something, oh, now it happened to me. I've been advocating this for a while now. So, 
Uh, but I'm confident we have. So look, there's a couple things I want to say real quick before my time's up. And that is if for any reason, you never know that I might shut down anything DB associated. They know which sites I run. They don't, don't fool yourself. They do. And they can wipe me out of here. The only way you'd be able to know what's going on is to go to the, you could check my dvstore.com website. You could go to the dysfunctional veterans.com website. Those aren't controlled by social media or the, the Patreon account set up by uh, Bo or me or our email blast. Um, and we would slowly find a new home somewhere. I mean, we would love where we were working on an idea where we would have our own little platform with an app, but that right now is on the back burner as we try to hold on to what we have from the nonprofits, DV radio to the, the products that we sell and the employees we employ. All right. So I, again, yeah. I just want to say to everybody, to all our supporters, Google can Google seen it. I mean, there's been a big difference. Um, you know, I've been focused on all these attacks over the last couple of years that it's kind of eaten away at me. And I had to take the page being unpublished to re to to restore my faith in in yeah. people. Does that make sense? Uh, I, I yeah. could not believe it uh, touched me so in all the weird places that you're not supposed to touch me. Right. And, it hit and, you in the feels. Right. I mean, we've got to go to break in five minutes. But you know, DV DV six and I talk almost every other day for what three or four hours, sometimes no. six. And this yeah, week, you're, you're well, easy to move around. I can just right. sit you on my desk. Right. <laughs> well, what where I was get where I was getting at is, you know, people have been bombarding him and myself all week, and we've had to ignore a lot of people because the page got shut down Monday. We're trying to get shit around that, and then all the shit that happened Friday with DV Radio, which I'm going to go into great length after the break. We have been so fucking blindsided by everything. Not that we weren't completely complacent we knew shit was going to happen we just didn't have a lot of stuff in place it it has literally with everything we have going on already and you can ask oink and frosty and pts dog they seen the shit that i had to do today it's it's fucking it's ridiculous on top of what we do already just for dv and dv radio and we love what we do we love doing the things we do but when you couple in this minute bullshit because a little people got offended and then they want to change it to what they want to or what their agenda and narrative is. It's like, okay, so you want to choke me and make me say what you want. That's basically what it comes down to. They're, they're jeopardizing. Well, we went from homeless to having a livelihood and I'm not the only one. Well, yeah. the YouTubers too. Families, you know, you're taking away livelihoods. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've been homeless before. I can do it. <laughs> No, I'm an expert when it comes to being homeless. <laughs> oh boy, we'll have fun, Google. At I know a great. A I, now. I I got a well. No, we can go back to my subway tunnel. I will miss it. I'll pass. Thanks. <laughs> I, I guess we'll be getting a divorce if we end up homeless. <laughs> really? So, so that do us part. <laughs> Be careful with those words, Six. Be careful with those words. <laughs> I've already been stabbed once by... Uh, not by Google, but... No, you tried to stab me yesterday. At ease. You was chasing me with a knife. The fuck I was? What? Mm -hmm. you pretended to stab yourself. What? Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, now that's going to end up on the hater pages. Google is, <laughs> is real DV, domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell my therapist that I'm not, oh I'm not afraid God, for my life. Worse. <laughs> there goes my hate score. <laughs> Through the roof. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Um. So, yeah. You know, all that has happened with DV. DV Radio got hit yesterday. Like I said, I'm going to go into a little bit depth on why the changes, why the TuneIn app isn't working, stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Uh, Frosty has seen 99% of the shit that I have to abide by now. Um, so on top of everything else I do, I have to relearn it or learn even more shit and to just stay in compliance with our new licensing and, and stuff like that. Um, but we have always told you guys we're not going anywhere. 
and I don't care if if we have to go on the street corner. We're, we're going to keep going, <laughs> one way or another. Um, but we'll we'll go to break. We'll come back. We'll talk about what happened with DB Radio uh, on June fourteenth, uh, two thousand nineteen. You're listening to Barrick Stark right here on DB Radio dot net. DB Radio. DV Radio is a place where veterans can be veterans live on pre-recorded shows and via podcast free of charge for listeners. Although the laughs and music are free for you, it does cost us. Help ensure that veterans' voices are heard uncensored by sponsoring DV Radio. Check out DV Radio LLC at patreon.com slash DV Radio or by clicking on the Patreon button at dvradio.net. Find out more about sponsoring an individual program by emailing info at dvradio.net. Help ensure that veterans' voices continue to be heard. And the next episode of Media Litter Sandwich. So the first video that we did through Means of Production was the campaign video for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And that's what kind of launched her into the national spotlight. So, um, And so we took all the money that we made from that and put it into this 10-week campaign. Um, creating small videos, creating kind of like a, a proof of concept for people to understand what does anti-capitalist, post-capitalist content even look like. DV Radio is for our fellow brothers and sisters, and it's all free of charge for our listeners, our guests, and even those that have shows right here on DVRadio.net. We do everything in-house from mixing and recording ads and shows to the website and all that you get from us. We love promoting veteran-owned businesses and highlighting those in the veteran community. So if you would like to continue to hear what we bring to you and have even more in the future with the best quality that we can possibly bring to you, please head over to DVRadio.net and click that PayPal donation button. Any amount is welcome from one dollar to a hundred million dollars that your uncle lets you in his trust fund so please head over to dvradio.net and click that paypal donation button right now oh. <laughs> DV Radio. all right ron let's start from the top like we rehearsed and we'll go from there I'm Ron Ripley. I'm Ron Ripley. I'm Ron Ripley. Ron Ripley. Ron wait, 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 wait. Ripley. Uh, Ron Ripley. Okay. Ron Ripley. Ron Ripley. Ron. Let's roll again. Ripley. Take 16. The man, the myth, Ron Ripley. Ron Ripley, honorable discharge for DV Radio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ron Ripley. I am the host of Honorable Discharge. Tune in each week as I interview new guests, new veterans, slutty veterans, sexy veterans, talking about their times, shooting the shit, smoking and joking, having a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ron Ripley. You're going to find us at Honorable Discharge, the podcast, only on DV Radio. Radio. You're listening to WDVR only on DDDDDDRadio.net. Yes, you're listening to DV Radio, DV Radio.net, WDDR. This is Barracks Talk Live, where you're listening to us on podcast, which is still found. At Podbean, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, and a shit ton of other places that I can't remember. Now, what happened with DB fucking radio? Well, I'll tell you a little story. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I've been working on the backside of the websites uh, for the past couple of weeks because we've got some new stuff added that we can add and, and make things a little more or easily uh, accessible on DB radio and dysfunctionalveterans.com uh, as well as uh, dvfarm.org. So I'm sitting here and I'm going through and I'm rearranging things and I'm making things a little easier for you guys to navigate. And I noticed that the Listen Now player button is broken. The image is broken. So it's, it's only showing like the uh, torn piece of paper. And I'm like, huh, 
Well, that's kind of odd. So I head over to dbradio.net, and now look, it's not there, the Listen Now button. I'm like, okay, that's really odd. So I go to our player, and it's working fine. I'm like, okay, go to tune in. It's working. Alrighty then, so let's go over to streamlicensing.com. Wouldn't you know it, on June 14, 2019, stream licensing went out of business. For what reasons, we have no clue. We have some thoughts as to why, uh, which we're not going to announce. Uh, if we are ever told, we will let you know. But yesterday, probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, I find this out. Um, and I call up DB6, and Google's standing there, and I'm like, look, we got to switch over to this new um, host service for music licensing, and everything comes with it, you know, our servers and all of that. And uh, they were like, okay, let's do it. It, it. And it made sense at the time, and it still does for now. Um, we are licensed in the America, in Canada, as well as uh, the UK. So that's where our music licensing is. And that's where you will hear Live 365. So if you're outside of those areas, I apologize. But you can still listen to our podcast anywhere in the world. Just when it comes to dvradio.net, if you're outside of the UK, Canada, or America, you may not be able to hear us right here, right now. That's the downfall. Another downfall is that these little insert ads that we are taking on. Why do we have ad inserts from someone outside of veterans and, and non-profits helping veteran families and, and organizations and stuff like that? Well, here's the kicker. Without that, it would be a shit ton more. Well, a shit ton more to us, probably not to most of you. You'd be like, okay, that's not bad, but it adds up very quickly. Um, it, it's, it's pretty expensive to run everything we run every year. And it, like, uh, Joaquin said in the, uh, Patreon ad, um, it costs us, even though it's free for all of you, which is why we do Patreon, which is why we have sponsors, which is why we try to push as hard as we can. If you want to at least give a dollar, please give a dollar. If you can't one month, please do it the next month. But we don't want you going out of your way and being out of pocket if you don't have it. But, um, so there's a few guidelines that have changed. I can no longer at all publicly in text form, image degree form, anything like that, post what songs are going to be played at any given time. I can tell you a music block. I can give you a genre. I can tell you an artist that might be on that night or something like that. But I cannot tell you ahead of time what songs are being uh, uh, played during a music block hour. Thank you, DMCA. Um, so, well, fucking ass. on top of that, I have to make sure that everything we have has a, a album title and uh, album cover art. And thank you for the last Microsoft Windows update. You wiped all of my shit. And all of it has is the name and the song of every single fucking song that I've ever fucking had. Which was a shit ton. Because I stayed up pretty much all night uploading it to the fucking server. So now I have to go in to the back end of the server and manually input all of this. Um, the good thing about it is anything that DV Radio buys song-wise, or is handed to us with written permission, written permission via email, messenger, I don't give a shit, from an independent artist that does not have a, a record label or is not produced by anything like ASCAP or BMI or anything like that, as long as we have written permission, we can play your songs. You may not get royalties, but your songs will be put out there. Um, another thing <laughs> which really pisses me off... <laughs> Because we're online, and it's a streaming service. We're not AM, we're not FM. We cannot do a five-hour block of Metallica. We cannot do a one-hour block of Metallica. We cannot do anything that involves having an artist played back-to-back -back in the same hour. Then we cannot play the same album from the same artist within a three-hour span, which is fucking retarded. And I'm it goes over here screaming, and it's like you're staying calm, and I just found out because you can't hear me yelling. <laughs> right. So <laughs> we have a bullshit. we have a we have a lot to to adhere to. The ads that you hear may be catered to wherever you're at. Um, we do not control those at all. It goes by where you're at in the country or um, state. 
Um, Here I we, thought you were fucking pissed at me all week, and it's doing this shit. Yeah. So um, the way been pissed at you all week. Right. So in order us in order for us to adhere to the compliance of the ad revenue um, from Live 365, we have to play no more than four minutes per hour and no more than two minutes maximum per break. So that means at the top of the break or at the top of the hour, when we start a show all not at nine o'clock, you'll hear 60 seconds or the full two minutes, whichever we do. That way, later on, we can play another 60 or two minutes, whichever it is that night. But every barracks talk or every live show or pre-recorded show that you hear from now on will start off with those ads. I apologize, but it helps us to cover the cost. Um, if you guys that are listening want to get rid of those ads, we can do that. However, you guys have to give more money. <laughs> I, I don't... I. I don't like asking for money, but that's how it works. If you know someone that is willing to sponsor us, we can do that. We cannot do, no matter what, we cannot do paid advertisements on the server. That does not mean that we cannot make an advertisement for you and play it on our station. But we cannot take paid advertisement as, as for, in a form of audio. That's where that goes. So, that's what we're dealing with right now. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Right. Okay. It's, it's so. a lot of info. Trust me, I tried to dive, dive into that DCMA and read through some of the stuff from the ass paint he was going through, as well as Frosty in, uh, what, three hours, I think, plus yeah. the testing we were doing. Yeah. And holy shit, guys. <laughs> right. It's not just pushing buttons. Trust me. <laughs> right. So another thing people are probably going to wonder is if you're using your mobile uh, device when you're on chat on dbradio.net and you're listening to the mobile player why you can't listen to the mobile player as well as be in the chat room. That's because it's on the website. But there is an app for that. <laughs> um, go to Live365 in your app store, download it, search for DV Radio, and you can listen through it to it through the app as well as be in the chat room. And that's one big caveat that we've seen for all of you. Um, I don't think there's too many things that really hurt the listeners uh, as far as what we've done, it hurts us because we have to adhere to a lot of fucking regulations, but at the same time, it's saving our ass. Um, so until we get that million dollar a year sponsor, this is, this is what we're doing. But like I said, if you guys want to get rid of the ads, um, that are not from DV radio, uh, we will have to get more money from you guys and that cannot stop. Um, whether it's in sponsorship from a veteran-owned business or nonprofit or organization, or you guys want to go to Patreon and, and give it there, that's the only way that uh, we'll be able to take off the ads from Live 365. That's that's the only way we can we can work around it because the packages will go up and we will have to pay out more. Um, like I said, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add it all up and then what we get from Nightcap Productions. And then from Patreon and the two or three PayPal donators, it, it, it's not much that we have to work with. That's why I'm trying to skimp on everything that I can. Recoil helps me. Oink helps me. Frosty helps me. Nevermore helps me. PTS Dog helps me. And yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a big mind fuck. And you guys think I just press button. Well, <laughs> you can all ask Oink, Frosty, and PTS Dog. How many fucking buttons I pressed in the last 24 hours? Because that's what is going on right now. And well, I was getting a headache just trying to read through that shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right, my laptop hasn't been shut off since yesterday at about 1600 Eastern. That that's how hard my laptop. Shut off been. our computers. Uh, I, fuck yeah. right, right, right. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to be a sponsor, if you know of some sponsors. Hit me up at info d at dvradio.net. Don't tell me to go to a sponsor right now. Do not do that to me. I have too much shit. Friday, this is what I... I no, no. I, you guys are laughing. So this is how I planned shit out. This is what I planned out Friday. I was going to finish up what is needed for Spotify. I was going to finish up the Patreon Bo's Room Tour from 6. I was going to add some more stuff for music therapy. I was going to finish out some upcoming shows that's getting ready to air. And 
this hit me. So now I have to put 5%, 5% of that in a working order. The other 95% is on the back burner. So I can work on about 5% of those things, which is one thing. I have to get with all the, the people that are syndicated with this, Up in Arms, Media Litter Sandwich, as well as an upcoming show that's in progress right now, uh, including Ron Ripley's Honorable Discharge. We have to cut down everything, including Service Dog Show, to adhere to the licensing agreements with the ad- advertising revenue. So everything, yeah, everything, everything was just like a fucking slap in the goddamn face yesterday. On but top you're of lucky. you get to stay home all day. I know. I, I just get to. I'm so I'm so lucky and grateful that I get to sit here and do absolutely nothing but sleep and sit on my ass and shit all day. I do absolutely nothing. Stay at home all day. <laughs> A lot of you asked about TuneIn and why there's nothing playing on TuneIn. That's because our stream license doesn't cover that no more. I want you guys to understand that. We did send in a submission form to update it, but it's a catch-22 on whether or not they're going to update it anytime soon. Uh, currently, they're not updating anything as well as iTunes streaming. So iTunes, we cannot get on there and tune in. It's a it's a 50-50 shot right now. So that's why we're not pushing tune in. Just push live 365. Um, I'll have all the links for you guys in the hyperlink that you can find on dbradio.net. If you scroll down a little bit, um, you'll see that there. And the other thing, too, is if you're out there listening and you know of another veteran that's never heard of DB Radio, spread the damn word. Because, I mean, believe it or not, there's guys I work with that are veterans up here who still have not heard. Well, it is Alaska. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) (laughs) They they still haven't heard of DB Radio. They don't know of the barracks talk. So... Uh, simply, you know, sharing this stuff on your own personal uh, Facebook page, get the word out. I want to personally thank um, Bisto Blanco, uh, specifically Chris Latham, uh, Chuck Garrick, Calico Cooper, uh, as well as David Libby, who is the singer and mastermind of the songs for Sosera and Warrior Service. I have never called in so many goddamn fucking favors in my entire fucking life. Yesterday, I, fr- I probably used up all but one just to get this started. Um, Bisto Blanco gave us sole permission, thank you, Chris, um, to let us use any songs of theirs at all. We're going to have two tonight. You heard Grind earlier. We're having another one later on tonight. Um, without them... Uh, you guys wouldn't have music tonight. <laughs> like <laughs> You wouldn't have music. All you'd have was breaks, and that would be it, and us being stupid. Um, another thing, uh, when we transition from whatever's playing into a show, especially live, you're probably going to get about two minutes, give or take, that recoil mustered up for us, and I haven't got to hear yet because, well, I was working down to the last goddamn hour. Um, literally. Uh, so, thank recoil for the two minutes going into the top of the hour for live shows uh, when I get to put that up on the server. I didn't want to put it up on the server. I was afraid it wouldn't, you know, be uh, clocked in by the time 9 o'clock rode around. So it'll fade out and then you'll hear us coming in so whatever's playing, like a song or something, won't get cut off like it's done in the past. I do apologize for that. We have no control over that. Um, if we had our own systems and our own programming and our own setups, yeah, we could fade out a song and fade in the, the shows, whether it was live or pre-recorded. Uh, but as it sits right now, we don't really have that much control. I do have control over when ads play and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, as far as music blocks and stuff, I, I can no longer give you any idea of the name of songs that's playing anymore. You will see on the, live 365 player hopefully within the next week because i have to get this done within seven days i'm guessing um album art as well as uh being able to purchase those album songs or or whatever um it it goes towards the dmca if we're we don't adhere to that they'll yank our station until we do get everything up to par which is fine i understand that it just sucks it's not their fault it's not live 365's fault it's the dmca and and the monetary something, another music revenue something. I can't remember the whole thing. But um, 
thank you to uh, the big music labels, i.e. ASCAP, BMI, and all the rest of you Warner Brothers fucks for fucking over small businesses like this in order to put an extra $5,000 in your pocket every time a fucking song plays. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for screwing over hard-earned fucking artists that work their asses off and make original fucking art so they can only get about half a cent out of a fucking song you know that you make $5,000 like? out of. What? Do you know, like, who? and you just change it, this is the same thing, except not music. The way you said it and, and everything you're saying is what they're saying over on YouTube to all those people they are demonetizing and stuff. To all these people that poured their heart and soul into creating original stuff. Yeah. And they're getting oh, their oh, livelihood. I'm glad you brought YouTube up. Another thing that I cannot do on here at all um, is Spotify, Pandora, Napster, all of them just changed their terms and conditions to comply with the new music act that is available for or that all online stations and anyone that runs any type of online radio has to adhere to. So that means I cannot, I cannot, no matter what is going on, what we're doing, I cannot stream, excuse me, from Spotify, Napster, Pandora, anything for you guys to listen to. I cannot do that anymore. It's, we're going all talk. So, And you know what else? You know, well, marijuana is finally getting legalized, but it's too late. Everyone's on meth. Right. I mean, it's, it's well, you true. know, in California, they can bring marijuana into the prisons now, but the inmates can't smoke it yet. Yeah. But they're working on that. Um, if any of you know any veteran artists out there, good veteran artists, um, please don't send me stuff that you know is shit. I don't <laughs> want to hear it. <laughs> um, nice. Or, and not just veteran artists, but veteran artists and emerg emergency responders get first priority um but if you know any artists that aren't with the record label that are willing to put their songs here on dv radio to a get their name out and to b get more exposure time i need written permission in an email and just send me the files and i'd be more than happy to put it up uh just tell them to make sure that it has album ar uh, album cover album art the name of the song and stuff like that so that i adhere to the dmca dick motherfucking cock asses that's what it is um and we just lost um, our right <laughs> um but uh yeah if any of you also know people that want to do a show or have a show again send them here i was told today that there is a show out there that pays 350 dollars per episode just to have their show everywhere i was like well they can give that 350 dollars to us and they can be everywhere for us too if they really want to and they can pay our bills <laughs> Um, I like it. So, I mean, seriously, you, you're getting your stuff on here for free. I ask nothing from Up in Arms or Toadin or Ron Ripley or um, PTS Dog. That's because any... they showed you their tits. Yeah, or anyone else <laughs> I was that gonna has... say, so we're doing it wrong. Right? <laughs> or anyone else that has wanted to have their show on here. I want to provide it for free. That being said, I also let you, if you want, give to DB Radio in any capacity. Whether it's monetary or you help us push our names and, and, and the station, whatever it is, as long as you're helping us, that's that's all we ask for. We just want to make it a, a place for veteran made and emergency responder made shows where you can all just come here, have a laugh, get to know some shit, education uh, for caregivers and, and civilians and stuff like that. And we welcome one and all, but you know, censorship, have to put some bleeps in here once in a while. <laughs> Bastards. But yeah. That, that... Wake up the mother of Russia. <laughs> mother of Russia. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Um, so, how was everybody's week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, crappy. So, Google, you want to talk about your week? Well, no, not really. I'm trying to catch up on work because the software that I've been using to scan in all of our receipts so I can do good bookkeeping and not do it by hand, decided to cut their contract with our software that everything goes into. <laughs> oh, my so. God. Is this, is this all tech shit tonight? <laughs> Holy crap. No, that's I've got something after that. I've been calling for the past, like, three days, six, and I'm like, I'm not fucking dealing with this shit now. And I found out because I tried logging in, 
and I couldn't. And then it told me that, so then I was like, all right, well, I'll just log into my account, which they wouldn't let me reset my password because I didn't have a paid subscription. And I'm like, oh my fucking, <laughs> like everything's just been fucked up. So that's up why I thought thing. you were mad at me all week. <laughs> Same thing with Bo and you. <laughs> You guys are just, no. and I've been nice to everybody and I lost my whole livelihood. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm trying to like, <laughs> we have, we have seriously, we have receipts from like a month and a half ago that I still have not put into our QuickBooks Jesus. account because I haven't been able to scan anything. <laughs> I'm like, this is such bullshit. Well, uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's move but, on but to our next for good first. news. For good news, on Friday, we're bringing the horses home. Oh, Yay. I forgot to say that. Ah. I'm super excited about that. And next Saturday, I will not be on. FYI. We have it. We have it. going to be sleeping thing. with the horses. No, we have it. My niece is coming to visit for the weekend. And the following Saturday, I won't be on either because then my daughter will be visiting. So, well, maybe you could this be This is my last. My last wait, Saturday. wait, wait. I got to bring this up to Oink because he was here when I sent the original um, email out at 4.38 today. I just got an email back from that certain place at uh, 8.51 Holy Eastern. Cow. At 8.51 <laughs> Eastern. Answering the question that we had to find out by broadcasting a test broadcast for a fucking hour. So thanks. Thanks for getting on that response time there when I gave you guys props last night for answering me within 15 minutes. Should have never gave you props. Should have never told you that you guys were fast. Yeah, that's where I went fucking wrong. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, damn it. Um, let's go on to Recoil if he's there. How was your week, brother? Exhausting. Exhausting. Well, what happened to you? Your phone like get denied service or something? Your cable get shut off? <laughs> no, I just never stopped working. <laughs> well, I'm working right now, so is both. Well, sure well, recoil has to get off early tonight, and I don't mean sexually, even though I have not cut <laughs> his balls in a way. Um, <laughs> I love you, recoil. Oh man. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 I I do miss our 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 from work phone calls. <laughs> yeah, I, I when I was down there being homeless in his yard, I would walk in between five and six and stand there, stand there, stand there, and I go, "Oh, you're on the phone with Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um. So, Oink, you're next. It was actually kind of a, a nice week, uh, weather-wise. Fuck here. you. So, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but other than that, you know, uh, watching the page go down and then uh, watching everybody <laughs> scramble. And uh, and then, you know, Friday was my uh, day off, so I was sitting here and assisting Bo. And, and <laughs> yeah, it was, it was interesting, needless to say. Like I said, it was definitely an eye-opener to sit back and actually watch some of the stuff that he has to go through, keep in mind, and... <laughs> and just the rules. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have to I have one music license I have to add here to on top of another music license that I have to go by. And then I have to make sure that I comply to server standards as well as every fucking everybody else's licensing agreements and it's like Really? R really? And then YouTube <laughs> then you got dickwads over on YouTube trying to fucking say, Hey, that that's copyright, and I'm like, uh, uh motherfucker, I got a contract with these people right here. If you really want me to, I'll I'll send them to YouTube, and they'll get it fucking uncopyrighted within I don't know 72 hours. So I'm waiting to hear back on that because that takes like 30 fucking days. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a mind fuck of a week. Oh my god. Uh, talking about a mind fuck. Um, they broke through the breezeway of the room. Um, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in there. Uh, and my mom opened the door, and I smelled paint, and I was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> like that was strong as fuck. Um, she showed me the pictures of the bathroom. That tile is pretty. It's pretty. Um, but yeah, it's it's almost complete. Phone line will get dropped in sometime the first week of uh, July. Thank you. Um. 
phone company for three weeks ago being able to do it in the same day and then three weeks later all of a sudden having too many customers to do it in the same day because our town is that fucking huge. <laughs> I was like, what happened to that? And they were, my mom was like, I don't know. She's like, I called her, talked to her, and she was like, we'll, we'll get out there July, blah, 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 at blah, blah, blah time, give or take, and I was like, what happened to, we'll get out there today and run the lines for you? I was like, they all, they honestly got that many customers in three weeks? I said, what happened? Fucking migrants just came over here to seek asylum or something in North Carolina, in this part of North Carolina, in three weeks? Like, is that what happened? Because... When they say that, they usually admit to having 1,500 customers they have to um, do services for. So, I don't know how true that is, but that's what they claim. And I have less than a megabyte upload, so how the fuck I'm doing a show? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, so, you guys don't think my internet sucks? Ask going. <laughs> I've seen the speeds. <laughs> I've seen his speeds. I think a snail moves faster. <laughs> Dude, dial-up moves fucking faster. Holy shit. Fucking dial-up moves faster. But yeah, like, this week has just been one more fucking week. I, I was having an eh week, and then yesterday happened, and it was just like, in the face, you know? So. Oh, me. But yeah, I, I can't thank everybody that helped enough um like i said oink frosty nevermore pts dog walking with i um chris latham chuck garrett calico cooper all the Bisto blanco david libby from uh sosera and warrior service you can check them out on facebook or their websites uh warriorservice.org soceraband.com bistoblanco.com uh nightcap productions thank you for sponsoring us we sure as fuck could not have done what we've done <laughs> without you. Um, to show your support for Nightcap Productions, if you're a new listener or you don't have it, go grab the What the Forecast app as well as Backseat Navigator on your iOS and Android mobile devices. I almost said develop devices. I don't know why. Go figure that one out. Um, what the Forecast is a hilarious weather app. It is very offensive to many people, but you know what, fuck them. And that's what, what the forecast will tell you if it's cold outside as well as hot. Backseat Navigator tells you how big of a fucksicle you are if you make a wrong turn at Albuquerque. So grab them today on your iOS and Android devices in your respective app stores. Not to mention, you can pay like five bucks, I think, remove all the ads, and that all goes to Nightcap Productions, where and in turn goes to DV Radio for the sponsorship. Also, another way to give to DV Radio and help another veteran on business is EuboraCoffee.com. Buy Battlegrounds Coffee. That's DV Radio's own blend of coffee. And let me tell you, it's good as hell. You can get five pounds for 65 bucks. Is that what it is? Uh, I'm a Patreon yeah. member, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, was, I was getting ready to say, um, if you want... if you want, it, I, I'll explain Patreon to you in a moment. If you want to pay full price for a five pound back, Head over there to YouborCoffee.com, grab Battlegrounds, and proceeds go to DD Radio, where you can buy a 12-ounce bag, but 5 pounds is a lot better, and you get your money's worth, and you're going to be paying the same anywhere else. But, if you want 15% off, head over to Patreon.com forward slash DD Radio, grab the Darkness tier, and you can get it for 15% off, and you'll get it each month delivered to your house. It's as easy as that, but that's some ways you can help. Um, you have to pick up the Ubora coffee at the store if you don't sign up for Patreon. Huh? You said it'll be delivered to your house if you sign up for Patreon. I coffee. said it'll. I said it'll be delivered to you each month through there, just like it would right. on on their uh, their website. But they don't have a monthly subscription where Patreon does. Ew, I understand now. In case other people got confused. There's your explanation. And you can order for your uh, vet fellow veterans. You know, I've done that. I've sent some to my son down there in Illinois, uh, to a buddy of mine there in Idaho, and they all love it. I mean, it, seriously, yeah. it is the best shit I've ever tasted. I, I got does your son? Does your son listen to DV Barracks stuff? 
I have no idea what he does. He's still in his 20s. You know? Well, I mean, um, if he's a veteran, then he should be listening. <laughs> no, he's not a veteran. I got I to gotta thank Philip and Andre <laughs> at Eubora he Coffee. Should be listening. He should do it. I got to think. Right? Hey, let me thank these people, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Sorry. I, I want to thank Philip and Andre from com. They're great vets. Uh, they do run the business. Andre's out right now, but Philip got to meet Six the other day, and let me tell you, he got to see another side of Six he ain't never seen. <laughs> what happened? What did I do? I remember the other day. Every day. Remember the other day when we got the phone call, and uh, Philip was in the uh, call with us, and you didn't know who he was. You thought his name was like Daniel or some oh, shit. Oh, right. <laughs> so what, what? I was normal, right? Right, but I was <laughs> explaining. <laughs> I got me. Wait, 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 Six. Just shut your mouth, Six, and listen. I was trying to explain to Philip that day that is the way you always are. That Barracks Talk is not an act. Your videos are not an act. That is you. And he just, he could not stop laughing like he was crying. Well, I, I wasn't trying. I was just, <laughs> no, you. I was having a good day, right? Yeah, you were being you, but then Huey oh. started doing her. <laughs> oh, I'm glad wait, wait. everybody likes that. Like, you know, I took many multiple head injuries and <laughs> wait, you gotta Palma. tell them, you gotta tell them what Huey was doing while we were in our meeting though with Philip, the kamikaze what? shit, the, the fly by kamikaze shit. Oh my God. She got pissed because somebody <laughs> new was in the call. And next thing you know, she's doing fucking flybys. I mean, she's, she, oh, look, wait, wait, wait. Like you see how close she got to me. Andy wouldn't give her a piece of food. She went between his laptop and his face and clipped his nose with her wing. He was like, what the fuck? I was like, she's mad. You better give her some. No, my food. Next thing you know, wow. They love her on the fucking videos. Well, the funny thing about the other day, though, is, you know, when you know, the old planes, toy planes that you get get on a string and swirl it around your head. You remember those? That's what Huey looked like when she was doing her flybys oh. because we could only see a part of her. So she'd come by and almost hit six. And then it'd be like, one, two, here comes Huey. One, two, here comes Huey. Like, yeah. Oh, right, right. <laughs> it's like, you know, and then somebody says, you know, Huey, Huey um, um, outranks you. I go, hey, so she's a full bird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Somehow we find humor in all of the dark shit that happens to us. <laughs> you know, um, listen, I had two ways. I had said this in the earlier videos. Um, and this goes to my anger and everything, but it was like, I got hit with this and it was one of two ways I could approach it. And, uh, and that was one as resignation and, and get on like, you know, some of the rants that you see on other social media pages, even some of our uh, ex employees you know rah, rah, rah. i'm gonna uh, facebook you don't know who you're fucking with rah, rah. well i think you know it was like you know we're gonna handle this we're gonna face it head on it is what it is and we'll do our best i mean we faced oh since we started it's always been one crisis after another yeah and, and again uh, i want to uh gave me the the all the reason i needed to to just stay the course Remain calm. Remain calm! <laughs> right. Before, before I go into the support, I, I want to add on to what you said earlier about fire missions. Please That's not piggybacking. Piggybacking with Oink. Um, please don't come to Twitter. <laughs> please don't come to Twitter and ask me to do this big-ass rant and boycott and shit like that. Because, first off, I'm going to ignore it. And secondly, that's what they want you to do. They want you to start shit. So they can give them a reason to ban you. Like, hello. That's why they want you to do that shit. That's why they let you go and go and go. And then all of a sudden, you said something completely okay and you're banned or you're taken off. So don't come to Twitter asking DV underscore right, DV now radio. I'm going to piggyback okay. off what you said. But you fuckers in the closed group, I've been giving out that information on the DV6 back end with the message thing. I've left. Don't fucking send me memes, motherfucker. I will block your ass in a heartbeat. Stop clogging my butt. Hey, uh, there's a funny meme. You want to put it up? What the fuck do you think the fucking group's for? <laughs> oh, my God. Or, or send me shit that somebody said something bad about DV. You know, it's like, oh, 
God. Fix has seen it all and he's heard it all. Oh my God. I'm like, look, I got in there. I'm waiting on the two. Fe- I did the interview with the two female vets that deployed, um, they're both army. My first episode was just strictly females. And, uh, so I get in there. I tell Mark, right, meet me over at the DV6 uh, page so we can get to the links. Took me 10 minutes to find him. I had to fucking go through all that crap. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, I got to put this on the list and I forgot to put it up in the video because it's every day. You know, that fucking closed group is great. It's, it's better than a big, huge page because it's all family. It's all family. And I'll get up in the morning. And, and my last instructions the night before, don't burn the house down. And I get up and there's, there's fucking six reports sitting there. It's a big red banner, six member reported thing, one from Facebook fucking deleting shit. I'm like, oh, here we go. So I look and it's one guy threatening to kill somebody. It's another person being a shit bird. So I got fucking, I'm not even shaved shower. I got this shirt with bird shit on it. I'm not awake. Google can vouch for this. I look like crap. And I hit live. And all right, motherfuckers. And as soon as it comes on, somebody goes, this ain't normal. Fucking, <laughs> he's about to yell at us again. <laughs> what did we do? Like, they know my routine and my schedule. Like, right. what? It's, they like, also know Yui's schedule, which is kind of interesting because um, last night six was on, and some people <laughs> were like, "Where's Yui?" and other people were like, "She's in bed." Before <laughs> I can even know, say that, he's not even up this late. <laughs> oh man, it's just um, you know. DV6 is talking about the overwhelming amount of support, and I cannot agree more. Um, Twitter's seen a huge influx from people I've never heard of um, to Celebrities. People. Yes, yes, I was going to say. We've, we've got celebrities that were actually vouching for us. Um, let me find her Twitter page really quick. Mindy Robinson at iHeartMindy. I don't know who she is, um, but her message back to me her message back to me when I told her that I was sorry I did not know her. She completely responded back, I'm just an actor and right-wing troll. I was <laughs> like, that is the best thing I have read all fucking day. Because me and Six were having a bad day anyway. And then that right there, I was like, Six, listen to this. <laughs> Wait, he, I get some, don't let me forget the Fox thing. Right, so... So... I tweeted out the the um, the news article from Big League uh, on Twitter, which surprisingly actually got put up. Uh, they haven't censored that yet. Fingers right, crossed they Big don't. Big League it's themselves can't post. Right, but they're, but but they're there are some links. Porn. There are some links of theirs that Twitter will not allow that are completely okay that I have come to find out about. Anyway, so I, I tweeted that out, and within. 10 minutes, 6, I think it was. Um, the amount of messages and followers that came to us and responses and retweets. And it, I was like, whoa, where did this come from? Like, I can put that I just shit my guts out and it's a nuclear power plant in my colon. It might get one like everybody else does something stupid like that. They get a million likes. DV gets shut down and it's, hey. Let's go run over the DV radio. And I, I want to tell you, it's very much appreciated. Um, you guys have emailed me. You've emailed Six. Uh, I don't know who else you've emailed, but I know myself and Six, you've emailed uh, tremendously throughout the week. Um, I've gotten personal messages. <laughs> I've got Twitter messages. Um, someone even wanted me to turn on the DV radio Facebook messenger. Not fucking happening. Um mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. That shit would fucking Listen, break as soon yeah. as turn it on. I yeah. finally got a chance to talk to Bo, like, uh, later that, that was the following day, right, Bo? Yeah. Yep. And it was the first time we talked, and he's on, he's sitting on my desk, you know, and on the iPad, <laughs> and the phone rings. And I just joked about it. I think I did, right? Yeah, we just about had got through. Couch. Yep, joking about it, yep. And Fox fucking Fox and Friends, one of the producers called. Um, and he was, he listened. They didn't know he was there listening, but, uh, he heard the whole conversation. It was awesome. Yeah. And I'm sitting, <laughs> but they were, she was cool with it. She was like, this is great. I told her, I said, we're sending them a bag of dicks. We're sending them a huge box of dicks and we're doing this. We've gotten in trouble before, but we do good. 
you know, we, we, we're, we're trying. It ain't like we go out to do bad, but, you know, it's like trouble mm. follows us. But she was like, this is great. And, you know, I, I don't see why they wouldn't want to do it. I'm going to push this. And, and, and it sounded like a surefire thing. And I'm sitting here for the last two days waiting for the phone to ring back. And it wasn't until the following night I'm about to go live to launch the big uh, send a giant box of dicks to Zuckerberg uh, video. Two minutes, phone rings. It's a close source. It's somebody uh, connected to Fox. And they said, hey, just wanted to give you a heads up. The producers will be watching. Oh, my God. Thanks. <laughs> I, I mean. Well, it was great, but anyhow, it's whether I get on it or not. I have some good one-liners that James Shorty of uh, Salty Soldier gave me. Like, if I do ever get on that couch, I can tell him this is my second favorite couch. And then go go, oh really? What's your first favorite couch? And I'm gonna look dead in the camera and go, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can go there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's. That was fun. We were dying. Oh, my God. But here we are. We, we Hey, you might be homeless, but we're making jokes about it. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and thank you, all you stupid fucking haters. Ah, uh, so predictable. And boy, did it catch. <laughs> Holy shit. You never let us down. No, you never do. But the, the, it's different now uh, than it was two years ago. Um, I guess, you know, only time will tell all day fucking people. The, the, some of those haters kind of stepped in. I mean, no, they'll deny it. But uh, the, I heard there was some good uh, fucking like they were catching good, deservedly so shit and, and losing followers for that. And that's the whole point. I mean, whether you agree or disagree with somebody, we should all be on. God damn it. We're veterans, first of all. And now we should all be on the same page about certain certain um Amendments and things about the Constitution. Like, boy, uh, uh, I hate the pilot. Or fucking, what's that one about uh, the the plane? You know, uh, I hope this plane crashes, and you're a, you're a passenger on it. Yeah. You know. Whatever. Fuck it. So, I don't like that pilot. He likes TV. I hope this plane crashes. Uh, you're sitting here with us, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I mentioned earlier, if you have a show or you want to start a show, uh, please reach out to me at info at dvradio.net. Those of you that uh, have responded to me uh, recently, I hope I responded back to you. Um, I have gotten a few of your emails, and I'm pretty sure I've replied back to them all. If not, just send me an email as a reminder, and I'll get back to you. Um, that goes for veterans and emergency, res emergency responders. That does not mean that civilians cannot make a show here and we won't air it or anything. It just means that veterans and emergent resp emergency responders get priority. Okay? Um, that goes for uh, artists as well. Um, again, if you want to sponsor us, if you know a sponsor, reach out to them and have them to reach out to me at info at dvradio.net or have PTS Dog, Nevermore, or Oink reach out to them because I honestly cannot fucking deal with that shit right now. <laughs> um, they, they, know, they know what uh, I ask of them so that they can handle it uh, if you get up with one of those four, right? I did name off four, right? Three, four. I can't remember. Anyway, the people that I named off, <laughs> hit them up um, if you don't want to email me. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it, it turned into a nightmare last night. Welcome to my nightmare. No, Bo freaking calls six on Zoom yesterday, and then six yells, <laughs> Google, I need you in here. It's an emergency. I'm like, what the fuck over? So I go in there. And it, mind you, six is getting ready to go live. Yeah. So all right. So Bo and I talk for a minute. Then we get off, and um, six goes live. I have to shut my internet off on my <laughs> phone. <laughs> So I have no way to really talk to Bo about any of this. And then he's asking me questions. And I'm like, call the house. He calls my cell phone. <laughs> oh, it was funny. He goes. Well, you didn't say house at first. He said, call the house. And his response was, I can't. Someone's on the phone. I'm like, oh. <laughs> he goes, can I call you on 
on Facebook. I'm like, no, because I have no Wi-Fi on my phone right now because six is yeah. live. I didn't know six was still live. I was I was not in Facebook mode at all. I was like, fuck Facebook right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, six is live, and I'm like, oh my god. So <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, the cell phone worked. Yeah, well, you called my cell phone, which <laughs> well, was like okay. from my like, cell phone. I knew that I I knew I needed to get something, and when I answered, I wasn't where I should have been. So, <laughs> so then I'm like, he can hear me. That means I cannot move. I can <laughs> only stand here and talk on the phone. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Thankfully, my phone actually worked yesterday because it it doesn't it doesn't like to get text. It doesn't like to send text, and it doesn't like to get or. Send out phone calls, and yesterday, thankfully, it worked one time. <laughs> <laughs> the one time we really needed it, it came through for us. Right? Yeah, it's like God. Oh my God! But um, yeah. So we're gonna go to break. We'll come back. We've got Google's junk that's in the news. I'm probably going to mute out through the entire thing. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll find out. You listen to Barracks <laughs> Talk live. Excited. Live or on podcast, right here on WDVRDVRadio.net. Let's get it on. We've got some full red made for you. The music. Let's go. You're listening to WDVR on DVRadio.net. Five veterans, four veterans. Simply made for you. What's DV Radio? DV Radio is for you, the veteran, active duty service member, caregiver, and civilian supporter of the military. DVRadio.net is the online veteran network made for and by veterans. From original shows to syndication, you can find it here on DVRadio.net. In an effort to continue our mission and make better quality shows for each and every one of you, visit our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash DV Radio. Whether you can only pledge $1 per month or that entire million dollar inheritance, your uncle left you, there's a tier with rewards waiting for you. So why not keep DV Radio running and get rewarded at the same time? Head to patreon.com forward slash DV Radio now. That's patreon.com forward slash DV Radio. DV Radio. You're listening to Barrett's Talk on DV Radio.net. We're back on the air. We're back on the air. You big dummy. And now time to find out what stupid junk is in the news. All right, so we are back. So last week, or this past week, a bunch of stories were sent in, and I didn't mean for it to happen like that. But, um, yeah. So we have a lot. We have narrowed it down. I have chosen six out of the twelve, so that's a plus. Um, we do have a couple that are on standby, just in case, but I doubt that we'll need those. Um, <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, before the break in the last segment, I mentioned that in California, they are allowing weed to be sent into prisons, um, but the inmates are unable to smoke it at this time. They're working on that. Well, Canada heard about that, I guess, and said, hold my beer, because Canadian federal prison um, is poised to introduce heroin injection site for inmates. So in Alberta, in Canada, um, you can be in prison and still get your heroin. Well, I mean, let's go to prison in Canada. (laughs) I'm up for it. Who's coming with me? <laughs> well, fuck, isn't Rosie and a couple other guests supposed to already be there? Right. Oh, man. <laughs> well, maybe not in prison, but shit. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if they ended up there. I mean. <laughs> it's insane. 
It's insane. This oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Google. I'm scrolling through Facebook the first time I have in over a week. A Klondike bar ad is there, and I see what would you do for a Klondike bar, but I read four and dyke together, so I read what would you do fuck a Klondike bar in my mind, and I had to, like, <laughs> stop. I'm sorry. Totally. I'm sorry. No sleep deprivation to- does that to you. <laughs> Back to news. <laughs> So the first heroin injection site program for prisoners could be up and running by the end of June. That is very, very soon. Um, super Supervised injection sites already dot the Canadian urban landscape with numerous programs and operations in cities from Vancouver to Toronto, um, which obviously those injection sites allow drug addicts to inject themselves with heroin <laughs> without fear of police intervention and the Trudeau government has decided that they wish to expand this program to the prisoners. Well, it's oh. cheaper to kill them off than it is to house them, I guess, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's my reasoning. It, it, they must, like, they is must the have... government going to pay for this? They, mu- they must have got in contact with America's VA system. <laughs> How y'all do that down there? We'll see what we do is. <laughs> <laughs> Let them kill it's, themselves and we're good. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's it's just insane. So, um, yeah, if you go, if you're a heroin addict, you might want to go to prison in Canada. Um, because, uh, but only to the Drumheller one at this time. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you might be able to keep carefully. your... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you might be able to just keep up your your heroin addict there. Um, moving right along, the headline, I don't want to give it away. So there is a new trend taking this nation by storm. Um, <laughs> the headline is, I'll gladly share my wife with other men in order to reject my male privilege. Ooh, I know where this is going. So liberal <laughs> men from across the country are voluntarily stepping up to share their wives and girlfriends with other men in order to reject their male privilege. Women are not property, and men are starting to figure that out and take action. I'm sorry, even if I had permission to be shared, I'd be like, fuck you, no. <laughs> to I me, got married for a reason. <laughs> to me, saying, hey, go fuck whoever you want is like saying, hey, I don't really want to fuck you tonight. Uh, I'm going to find somebody else. Right. It's like, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you now have permission to cheat, I guess. For some, um, the stunning bravery of progressive liberal men is astounding. It takes real woke awareness of one's who own privilege and disproportionate advantages to step up and initiate and and a that a reciproc and reciprocated open relationship. Women have been oppressed for far too long in this country. It's time to turn the tables. I'm like, this is just insane. Like, come on. What is wrong with people? Really? What is wrong with people? I mean, would you share your wife? Uh, my wife would probably kick their ass. She may be only 4'10", but I'm pretty sure she'd put a put ass whooping on them. <laughs> She, she keeps my ass in line. Let's put it that way. So, uh. well, the institution of marriage is inherently sexist and misogynist. The idea of claiming and owning a woman simply because of a set of spoken matrimonial words is dated and is seen as sickening. The only thing preventing a respectable man with sharing his wife with other people would be his male privilege and the implications therein. Mm. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. They did interview a San Diego State University graduate about how he's felt liberated after shedding his male privilege and toxic masculinity. And he said, when my wife and I got married, I used to think she wouldn't be with any other man but me. Little did I know that was my male privilege speaking. I'll never let toxic masculinity 
masculinity overtake me. I'll gladly share my wife with other men in order to reject my male privilege. This is going to be a serious fucking problem. <laughs> it's easier to just get a fucking divorce. <laughs> you want to sleep with other guys? Okay, we're done. <laughs> that would be my answer if I was a guy. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this one was sent in, I know, by someone um, because Oink dropped it in our little stupid news chat box, but then it was also sent in by Nevermore, and I dropped it, but I didn't realize that it had already been dropped. So it was in there twice, so that's why we picked this story. Um, South Carolina woman stopped for driving drunk on toy truck. <laughs> I, I, how do you even drive a toy truck? If it's automated, then it's not a toy. Even if it's a little truck for little children. Um, this happened in Walhalla, South Carolina. She she will not be cited with a DUI because her vehicle of choice was a toy truck. She was drunk driving a toy truck, but will not get a DUI because she was drunk driving a toy truck. Um, so quick, you, all you alcoholics out there, go get you a Power Wheels electric toy truck. <laughs> drive in the bar to your house and you're golden. Uh, We're just kidding. Like, Don't do that. News, <laughs> news outlets quote police as saying that instead they charged 25 year old Megan Holman with public intoxication. They say they spotted her cruising down the road in a Power Wheels electric toy truck after a caller reported a suspicious person on the street. <laughs> Officers say she was driving about a mile from her home in Wahala when they stopped her. How fast was she going? If she was cruising down the road <laughs> in a toy truck. <laughs> I'm like, that's just uh, I wanna see dash cam video of this, please. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. We're in a slow pre slow speed pursuit. Uh something is driving a power wheel toy truck. Description of vehicle, black and very low riding. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, come on, get with a program, people. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one, I think this was sent in by Recoil. I can't remember because so many news stories fucking dropped this past week. I'm like, whoa. Well, it was whichever, like overload. <laughs> whichever one that Recoil sent in, Nevermore sent in yesterday, and or no, today Recoil sent in yesterday. <laughs> so the one that you dropped from Nevermore was about twelve hours too late. Well, I said that at the beginning. <laughs> no, oh recoil, my... recoil sent Nevermore's first, and then, then you sent Nevermore's. Oink even verified it. <laughs> Whatever. Know. It's you know what the same story was in there twice. That's why I did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. The next three stories all have to deal with Florida. I go figure. Very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. But uh yeah, that's just the way it is today. Um <laughs> naked Florida man burns house down trying to bake cookies on George Foreman Grill. Way to go, dumbass. <laughs> I think Ben said that one in. I'm not sure. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> a, very, a very intoxicated naked man who burned his house while trying to bake cookies on a George Foreman grill. I'm like, oh, my God. His nudity only describes half of the weirdness, according to a local report from Northwest Florida Daily News. The man admitted to drinking two liters of vodka and smoking marijuana since 9 a.m. that morning. And the blaze started when our foolhardy hero decided to bake cookies out of George Foreman Grill. That munchies are killer, dude. <laughs> According to authorities, he left the cookies unattended for too long, and the grill eventually caught fire. He attempted to put the fire out with dry towels, but those quickly became enveloped by the blaze, too. 
When the fire department showed up at the scene, the man opened the door, uttered the words, I'm sorry, and proceeded to shut the door again. (laughs) The police eventually escorted him from the inferno, while firefighters put on oxygen masks to battle the flames. (laughs) I'm like, oh my god. (laughs) So wait, your house is on fire. You open the door, you say I'm sorry, and you close the door. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) The fire department did say that he he likely would have died from excess smoke inhalation had he not left the building. Um, (laughs) (laughs) The man, on the other hand, was too blitzed to notice. (laughs) Uh, let's just hope what happens in Florida stays in Florida. (laughs) Right, so there you have it. Don't drink, don't get drunk and high, and then attempt to bake cookies on a George Foreman grill. Just don't even attempt to bake cookies on a George Foreman grill to start with, even if you're sober. (laughs) Just eat that cookie dough raw, fucker. Go for it. It's good. right? (laughs) That's what I do. Um... Florida man with cocaine on his nose tells deputies it is not his. Um, <coughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office reported deputies performed a traffic stop on a vehicle where 20-year-old Fabricio Torres Jimenez was the passenger. One of the deputies immediately noticed that Jimenez had a white powdery substance on his nose, which he rec- which he recognized to be cocaine. Um, it could have been baby powder. <laughs> you have to <laughs> test it first. Come on. <laughs> Jimenez's nose was swabbed and a test reportedly yielded positive results for cocaine contact. Jimenez was searched and cocaine was found on him. Deputies also located a backpack that contained 250 grams of marijuana and 13 Xanax pills. Um, drug dealer much? Despite their findings, deputies said that Jimenez said that the cocaine on his nose was not his. He was arrested nonetheless. <laughs> here's here's your evidence, but it's not mine. That this that's like to my buddy. It's on my nose, but it's not mine. I swear. That's that's like the little kid. Did you eat the chocolate? No. What's the brown stuff around your face? Not chocolate. There's no brown stuff on my face. There's brown stuff all around your face. Did you eat the chocolate? No. Who ate the chocolate, sister? Did you eat the chocolate? No. Are you sure you didn't eat the chocolate? Because there's brown stuff around. You get you go. You see where I'm going with this? Right. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> nah, man. I'm just holding this for a friend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, here we have another Florida story. A Florida man steals mail truck leading to a pursuit up I-95. What the (laughs) fuck? (laughs) A Florida man stole a mail carrier truck from Holly Hill in Volusia County and led police on a pursuit on I-95 last Saturday. (laughs) Volusia County Sheriff's Officer noticed, um, Notified FCSO, which I guess I don't know, is that that's the county sheriff's. I don't even fucking know. When 29 year old Jesse <laughs> Estep was reportedly driving a stolen white mail truck north on I 95 into their county, um, they located the mail truck and took over the pursuit. Deputies left their patrol cars to lay out stop sticks to attempt to slow and stop the vehicle. Um, oh, so it's in two different counties. So he county hopped. <laughs> and while in a stolen mail truck. Jeez. <laughs> Wheeze. Um, Flag- Flagler County Sheriff's Office said the suspect intentionally swerved and drove the mail truck directly toward the deputy. As that missed the, de- the deputy and swerved the trick and swerved the trick toward a different <laughs> My God, this story is so confusing. <laughs> oh man, they did. He did hit hit the stop stick. By the way, um, at which point the suspect lost control of the mail carrier. The suspect overcorrected after he hit the stop stick, causing the truck to crash into a guardrail and flip. Oh my goodness! Um, do not try to go on a pursuit in a mail truck. It will end up 
badly. The man is being charged with two counts of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, grand theft of a motor vehicle, burglary conveyance, aggravated fleeing with injury or damage, resisting arrest, and criminal use of a of personal identification, i.e. mail. I guess, well, I mean, that makes sense, considering there was still mail in the mail truck. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there wasn't a dog after him. <laughs> I'm like, and this guy wasn't even high. <laughs> or drunk. Or at least not according to the article. No, he that was probably he was probably high on looking envelopes and stamps. Oh my god. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Florida, please keep your trash there. We don't need You idiot. <laughs> PTS dog, I did not assume it's gender, it's male, M-I-M-A-I-L, not male like man. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, It is 1054, look mm-hmm. at that, I went through the stories that I chose, I could run down this one too, this one's kind of funny, because apparently... Um, according to a Pennsylvania man, traffic circles are causing all of the dur- all of the tornadoes that have been happening lately. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's really the fucking traffic circles. <laughs> oh man, you gotta, you gotta be. <laughs> I guess you've gotta kind of just go with it, just roll with it. Right. Well, I have to say one. I have to say a few things. You will not hear the live 365 ads on the podcast. So there's one good thing. Second of all, I know that a lot of you hate clicking the buttons to get into the player to listen to the show or music. There's a thing called a legality clause. And when you don't do that, that's actually illegal. Meaning if you bookmark it, that's illegal. Which means it hurts us. So if enough of you do that, we get hit for it. Which means we can be sued for a shit ton of fucking money. Ooh, they're breaking the law? Right. So, oh, if, if Just you... Just like all our criminals this evening. So if you bookmark the actual player where you don't have to go through those steps, you are breaking the law. I don't care what you do in your off time and outside of DV Radio... But while you're with DV Radio, don't bookmark the player. You can bookmark the page that the player is on where you have to go through those steps. Um, but don't bookmark the actual player where you have to not go through the steps. Please, I am begging you. Because if enough of you do it, they will essentially make us pay for it. And possibly get us shut down. It, it happens every day. So please don't do that. That's one thing that I ask you guys not to do. Um, if you're wondering about the Live 365 app, there is an app for it uh, on all mobile devices, iOS and Android. Just type in Live 365, download it, and search DV Radio. We're the only DV Radio on there, and you can listen to music all day, every day, and then you can hear the shows that are scheduled. I don't know how the scheduling thing is going to work uh, over the next couple of weeks. Because we just got it last night. I uploaded a shit ton of stuff, which I want to shoot myself over. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, all joking aside, um, uh, my laptop is running on bare bones right now. Um, here in a second, I'm going to have to do a quick live 365 break, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll finish the show. But um, So that that's where we're standing on uh, this coming week and probably the following week. If something doesn't start on time, please bear with us. Bear with DV Radio. It'll start. I have a strict and a flexible schedule that I can implement on 365. So on on strict ones, it will fade out and fade into the show. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, but I don't know how how soon I have to have things. Um, but yes, get the Live 365 app on your iOS and Android devices as well as What the Forecast and Backseat Navigator from Nightcap Productions, DV Radio's sponsor, who pays all of the bills 
except for a shit ton of other stuff that we have to pay for that we cannot afford that you guys won't that we have to pay out of pocket um you'd be surprised at what i give up for you assholes um so please patreon.com forward slash db radio if you can just give one dollar that's all i ask spread it to your friends your business partners local people i don't care uh, if you want to get out there and find us some sponsors go for it just have them to email me at info at dbradio.net or have them email nevermore at nevermore at dbradio.net i got her little email account set up over there yeah 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 i done that bo done that um or you can email PTS Dog, and we'll get Oink one set up uh, as soon as I can, and you can email him. But uh, those are the three contacts right now besides info at dvradio.net for anything DV Radio and sponsorship related. Um, as far as sponsorships, we have a few upcoming that have graciously uh, said they're going to sponsor some form of DV Radio. You'll get those announcements fairly soon. Um... I can't think of anything else right now other than go to dvforum.org, dvradio.net, DV Radio's Patreon, DV6's Patreon, Twitter at DV underscore DV Radio. We're still on YouTube, uh, Dysfunctional Veterans and DV Radio. Uh, Facebook right now, go to the Veteran Humor page. It is called Veteran Humor, so look for that. Um, am I leaving out anything, either of you? No, I think you got it all. Okay, um, if I've forgotten anything in this show, I do apologize. Um, I've, I'm going to have to move some stuff around for the podcast. That I apologize for. So if you hear the podcast, it sounds a little bit different. That's why. Um, MyDVStore.com. Grab your, grab your shit. I'm still trying to get us some merch. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to get us some merchandise uh, from someone. Um, so bear with me on that, but again, I need sponsorship and I need Patreons or patrons on Patreon. So until I can, I can make this monthly thing roll out where we're probably clearing a couple grand a month, I cannot do that. That's, that's where it sits right now. So, and then I, I have to pay back DV. Don't I Google? Yeah, but I mean, you know, <laughs> shit happens. Right. So, so yeah. I, I have a bill I have to pay. Google has a bill she has to pay. And everything's free for you guys. It's free for the people who are here. Um, but it's not free for us, as as Dog said. So if, if you want to help us out or you want to try and get us help, please do so. I hate asking for money. I hate asking for help. Yesterday <laughs> was the hardest fucking thing I've ever done when I was asking for favors. I'm not joking. I, mm, I didn't want to do it, and I done it. I had to. I had no other choice. But, um, Oink, any last words? Hey, for all the fathers out there, uh, especially on uh, Father's Day coming up this weekend, you know, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, any any man can just about be a father, but it takes somebody special to be called a dad. So, happy Father's Day to everybody. Yep. Uh, Google yourself. I, I would have changed that a little bit. Any man can be a sperm donor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes someone special to be a dad. Yeah. My goodness. I yeah. mean, my kids have a sperm donor. He's yeah. not a dad. I have a sperm all. donor, too. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, my dad is my sperm donor, so I'm, I'm happy for that. Um, <laughs> That's about it, yep. That's about as far as that love goes. I love you for being my sperm donor. <laughs> That yeah, did not does. come out right. <laughs> no. I have some quarrels with mine anyway. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you for ten years, even while you're dying from our Iraq and Crohn's, but I'll hit you up and tell you happy birthday and tell everybody that your mom won't let me come see you. Nor do I know where you live or the phone number that hasn't changed in 30 fucking years. Asshole. Anyway, go ahead, Google. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's my soapbox for Father's Day. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Um, I, I want to say something I, positive to you. <laughs> Just uh, hopefully this week will be better than this past week. Yeah. Amen to that shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so tomorrow is um, uh, what is it? Uh, June sixteenth, two thousand nineteen. It is Father's Day. 
if your blood dad or stepdad have been what a dad is, thank them at the least. Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. If they're no longer around, remember the happy times because they do not want you mourning. Trust me, just like we had done the memorial with anything. We tried not to be depressing. We talked about the funny moments. They want you all to be happy and live life to its fullest. Uh, for your single dads raising your kids, complete fucking respect for you. For your moms that are single and play on both sides of the fence, just as much respect. So uh, go have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Father's Day as you would Mother's Day. Don't scamp because it's your dad. Make the best of it, all right? Happy Father's Day to all of you dads out there that are actually being a fucking dad. And trust me, you know what I mean by that. I know it. Oink knows it. Google knows it. So from all of us here at DV Radio, happy Father's Day to all you dads. And again, we cannot thank Bisto Blancos, Chris Latham, Chuck Garrett, Calico Cooper, and the rest of the band, as well as Sosora Band and Warrior Service CEO, founder, and president, David Libby, enough. Go check all of them out. Buy their gear if you're able to do so. Four, Google, Oink, Recoil, who had to leave early, DV6, who never takes his blue fucking pill anymore. I'm Boner Wood. You just heard Barrett's talk right here on the Live 365 radio station. No, right here on WDVRDVRadio.net. Until next week, Flatsuckles. Bye-bye. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Goodbye, motherfucker! <laughs> TV Radio.